Hi there, Mark Holzer here from the CBM. Uh, this is an interesting question. Um, basically, the question is if the section we're supposed to be modeling for our pre-build is amino acids 1 through 85, why is the tuber length 168 centimeters instead of 170 centimeters? Uh, it's an excellent question because it shows you're paying attention to some of the detail involved in this modeling project. Um, it does have a very logical answer, and so I'm going to walk through that, uh, hopefully using some of these graphics to help out. To simplify it, rather than using a 85 amino acid long section, I'm just going to use a 5 amino acid long section. It's shown on screen right here. If you remember back to your biochemistry, amino acids are linked together to make these long protein chains. In this case, we see five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And each amino acid is made up of a couple of components. There's the R group, also called the side chain, that's shown in green here. There's an alpha carbon, that's the main carbon at the center of each amino acid that the R group attaches to. And then to the left, or at the beginning of the alpha carbon, there's a nitrogen, part of an amino group. And after the central alpha carbon, there's a carbon-oxygen pair called the carboxylic acid group. So if you just look at these five amino acids together, it would make sense that the length of your tuber, your modeling material, would be 10 centimeters long at a scale of 2 centimeters per amino acid. However, if we scroll down just a little bit, I have another representation taken directly from JAMEL. This is kind of just a generic 5 amino acid long section of protein. And what you see here is that even though the full amino acid would go a little bit earlier and continue on amino acid 5 a little bit farther, those regions are clipped off because when you show an amino acid section in uh, RASMOL, or I mean in JMOL, you actually are only showing the alpha carbon spheres for each amino acid. And then the backbone is just connecting those alpha carbons. What that means in short is that the amino group at the beginning of the first amino acid is not shown, and the carboxylic acid group at the end of the last amino acid is also not shown. They're kind of clipped away visually. This means that if you want to accurately make your tuber model match what you're seeing in the JMO visualization program, you're going to need it to be a little shorter at the beginning, exactly a half of amino acid shorter at the beginning, and a half of amino acid shorter at the end. If we scroll down a little further, we can see this applied to one of the modeling tubers. Again, even though you're technically showing all five amino acids, because of the way JMO renders it, removing that amino group at the beginning of the first amino acid and the carboxylic acid group off the end of the last amino acid, your tuber will actually be one amino acid length shorter than the full number, so eight centimeters long in this case. I'm going to include this graphic posted below as a PDF uh, to look over in more detail, but I hope that helps explain the numbering uh, and length question.